Hello everybody. I'm here to talk about hypersensitivity. I like to call it sense hypersensitivity, where you can have one or more senses that are hypersensitive, sometimes extreme to the point of pain. And I've had this problem, and I found a remedy that works well for me that has brought my condition down from severe to mild. And Basically, the main problems are what's in the soaps and in the food, and how the food's made and what it's made of nowadays, and how the soap strips the skin of sebum, which is the oil that humans make. And once that's stripped and the skin doesn't have uh, moisture, are the oils to help prevent scraping. So basically, first off, what I did was I went out and I tried to start eating all organic. And then I went out and tried to figure out what all the bad stuff was and then avoid it. And here's some of the stuff that I bought. First, this is lump of coal, which has Epsom salt and magnesium, which is magnesium. <clears throat> and what magnesium does is it can help break up calcium in your body. And so if you have like tight, stiff ligaments, joints, stuff like that, it can help relax them. Second over here, we have American Providence Body Wash which is winter cream. It works well, but it's not needed. If you want, you could just use this Dr. Bronner's organic Castile soap. That can be used for your hands, your body, pretty much everything. But some people prefer other scents or they prefer other elements that are not in Dr. Bronner's. For deodorant, I have been using Schmitz. Schmitz uses magnesium instead of aluminum. Over here I have American Providence wintergreen deodorant which uses baking soda instead of aluminum. Next to that I have where is it there it is tallow I have organic tallow which is not vegan <clears throat> what that is for is if you're ever using your hands very much in a day it's can be good to apply that beforehand next I have a pet egg is about 10 bucks and about all these items so far have been about ten dollars except the body wash which was only about four dollars next step we have hmm, I can't see it jojoba oil uh, it's actually pronounced jojoba oil it's hard to see there a little bit And uh, jojoba oil has been, I've read that it is the closest to sebum in our bodies, so it's a very good uh, moisturizer. Next, for pain relievers, Advil, Tylenol, <coughs> and aspirin, all extremely poisonous. So what I use instead is willow bark extract, which works very well, I'm going to tell you. And I use turmeric. And together, they, they're amazing. And they work, and I have pain, and it's gone. Okay, and here's some stuff to avoid. Dove. Dove puts all these commercials like they're amazing, but even their sensitive skin lotion has like six weak ingredients. It could be better. And you got like your expensive... Bath and Body Works soap that's ridiculously expensive. It's like three times more expensive than the organic Castile soap. 
and it's basically near the lowest quality ingredients you could possibly get. You got like Pantene Pro V. So, if you want to try a remedy and make yourself healthier, I recommend eating organic, getting your prebiotics and probiotics, getting rid of all of those garbage soaps, and go the organic way, go the natural way, go the way Mother Earth made it. Don't go the way that these scientists make some fabricated synthetic soap or drugs so they can make more money off of it. It's ridiculous. Especially when often it's more expensive. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope uh, I can help you out. Thanks for watching.